Uh, next one we have in is 83-1, and she's the only one in uh, in that 83 litter. Uh, and just, just to uh, talk pedigree there, she's a next up, tricked out, breaking rules uh, would be her extended pedigree. And, and she would actually, mother would be a litter mate uh, to Evan Henry's uh, grand gilt there at the High State Fair last summer. I know that gilt was... Uh, you know, very, very popular throughout the summer and then was able to garnish uh, the um, or garner the, the biggest win there at the Ohio State Fair on the gilt side of things in, in terms of being the champion crossbred gilt uh, there. Uh, this this one here in 83-1, uh, you know, we, we had thought about, uh, you know, taking her to, to some of those invite sales there. Um, because we think she's got those kind of things that you, you really like in terms of uh, just her elite look from the side. Uh, if you can get past that color pattern, I personally uh, kind of enjoy looking at ones like that. Um, but this one to us in, in terms of still having density, still having stoutness, and what made that litter so good a year ago, and she kind of paints that picture uh, and I know these things will only continue to get stouter. I think in a breeding guilt uh, aspect, uh, this one needs to be looked up on sale night and, and be at the top of the list as any um, because we think she has as much upside in terms of her look from the side. And then we know what she'll do as the summer goes on, only progress into being uh, even more top notch. This is 83-1.